everyone! Welcome to Marika Creations. Today I will share with you two DIYs and they are both for my living room. One is for one of the walls in the living room and the other one is a decor piece in uh, the Mackenzie Child style for that very space. So stay tuned for this. This is the wall in the living room that I'm going to put something on. It's um, too naked as is. I have these uh, cube uh, shelves that I will put on the wall. I um, paid 8 euros for a set of three and I have three sets. And here are my wood boards that I will use in this project. This will be the backdrop for the cube shelves. Some pallet wood and some thinner wood strips and a wider wood board. They are of a bit different um, sizes, thickness but that just adds to it I think. So first I will sand off the pallet wood pieces. They are quite rough. I don't mind rough but uh, take away all the splinters anyways and uh, any dirt that was still on there. On the right there you can see the palette piece that I have sanded and the other one is the rough one still. It's a, quite a difference isn't it? And then I cut them to size and I have um, sizes between 80 centimeters and uh, 1 meter 20. So everything in between there because I want a variation not just a flat wooden wall I need some visual interest so the different sizes the different thickness of the wood and you will see what I will do with the wooden cubes later on after I'm done cutting my wood pieces it's time to stain them and I will stain them all in the same natural oak stain but they are different kind of woods and it will be a different kind of a result. I applied two coats of this stain. This video is also part of a challenge Flipping Friday and it is hosted by Jamie over at Border Bananas. She has also a second channel Border Bananas DIY and if you're not familiar with Jamie and her channels just yet be sure to jump on over right after this video and check out what she has to offer. I will leave links down in my description box to her channels along with the link to the playlist of this challenge so you can get loads of inspiration. Now on to the cubes. As you can see each set is of three pieces, different sizes, small, medium, large, and they have hangers in the back there, so I can put them on the wall. And I have three sets like this. And I have one extra cube, an even smaller one, this one, and uh, I will use that one to put in to the larger one, like so. But to have a contrast, I will paint this smaller one in a matte black color. So I spray painted it and I applied two coats to get a really good coverage. Mm -hmm. 
and the three sets of cubes I will stain in the same natural oak stain that I have used for my wood boards. So I'm just putting it on everywhere, inside, outside, the edges, and I only applied one coat to all of the cubes. And you can see the difference there. I have chosen this natural oak stain because uh, I have some large pieces in my living area that is oak. Our dining table and all our countertops in the kitchen and the bar, it's all oak so that's why I'm going for this. So it will play well with that. Now it's time to assemble everything and my husband has already helped me to put these wood strips horizontal on the wall. This wall is quite rough to drill into. Now I have begun here to put my wood boards on and I will continue till I have covered the whole horizontal wood strips. I start off by measuring where I want it, mark it and drill my pilot holes, looks like that, and sink in the area so the screw won't stick out and then I make pilot holes in the wood strip and I have a spacer, um, just a scrap piece of a wood strip so I have um, equal space between them. And the first board that I put up, I made sure that I leveled it so they are all straight. And my screws are in a silver color, which I didn't like. So I took some black acrylic paint and painted them black, like you see me do here. And when I'm done with this, I will put on the wooden cube shelves. And I have already put on the larger ones and now I'm measuring, leveling and screwing in tiny screws to put on the next row of the medium sized ones. This looks very very nice and neat but when I come to the smaller ones like I do here it will be a little bit different. The first one it will be in a straight row with the other ones but then the second of the smaller ones it will start tipping like that so I'm just measuring exactly what angle I want them in screw in the screws and hang it up like that and uh, when I'm done this is how it looks looking good already but wait until i have decorated it i will first diy the core piece that i will put into one of these shelf units and then i will show you how it turned out for my Mackenzie child piece i have this glass jar with a lid and tiny handles very very cute and I also have a tiny cloche like this one. I will put that on top of the lid and I will glue it on and it will make a very cute little jar. So I have this very strong adhesive that I put on the cloche on the rim there and I will also put it on the lid. It doesn't matter if it, um, it's a bit messy because uh, I will paint it so it won't show. If you're new to my channel, 
hi I am Marika and on this channel I do lots of DIYs, thrift flips, trash to treasure, renovation of my home, some pottery, some painting, anything creative really. Please join me, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and let's be friends. Once it had dried I took it out and spray painted it with a matte black spray paint and I applied two coats and I sprayed the bottom of the jar as well Now it's time to put on the typical Mackenzie Child pattern and if you're not familiar with Mackenzie Child you can see an inspiration piece just in the corner and on the cloche there you already have that um, texture. So I'm taking a pencil and I'm just drawing, eyeballing, it doesn't need to be perfect this one, a pattern like that and I will start to put on some white acrylic paint like in a checker pattern where the handles are I will not put on this pattern just on both the front and the back of the piece and on the lid of course and I painted three coats to get the coverage that I was happy with then it's time to paint the lid and uh, they will sort of stand up and be more like a diamond shape So I just follow the pattern that was already on the cloche and same here three coats and uh, it will not be a dupe or, or anything like that just inspired by Mackenzie Child And when that was done, it's time for the golden touch. So I painted the rim on the, the cloche there on the lid and uh, the tiny knob on the top in this golden color and the rim of the jar as well. Once completely dry, I covered both pieces with a coat of high gloss varnish. If you like this video and videos just like this, please hit that like button that will help my channel to grow and the subscribe button of course. I have plenty of inspirational videos in the making. And here is how it turned out. I just love it. Very rustic, very me. And here on the top there is a little piece that I made a video ago. A floral print that I got from my mother. And some LED candles on the bottom shelf. An empty one. You need negative space as well. And here are some old French books. A friend in Sweden gave them to me before we left for France. And here is the black cube in the other cube. And here is my Mackenzie Child inspired piece looking pretty a very pop of color here even though it's black and white and the red rose will represent the red that we see in lots of the Mackenzie Child decor pieces looking pretty I think and a vase on top there and then we have the tilted cubes I have a chair and some books in them tell me what you think Leave me a comment down below. 
If you want more inspired flips, hit the playlist challenge link in my description box. Or if you want more of my DIYs, click the DIY playlist icon appearing on the screen right here. Just click and enjoy. Thank you so very much for watching. See you soon again in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye.